guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I'm going to review um, Sam and Cat Season 1, Episode 5. Um, this episode was called um, Texting Competition. And I gotta say, this is one of the funniest of the ones we had so far. I know we only have five episodes, but these episodes just keep getting funnier and funnier. They really do. They're just very, very funny, and I really, really enjoyed this episode. It was very, very funny. And a lot of a plot twist that I really liked, too. I like that they had a lot of plot twists, and you really didn't expect a, um, half of the stuff that happened this year in the episode to happen in the episode. It was very unpredictable, and I really love that. Um, so, yeah, really, really good episode. So the basic plot, basically, was that um, Kat is babysitting um, Butler, and it really wasn't focused on them babysitting someone this episode. It was focused more on them... Um, trying to compete in the text competition. I like that. I like that they didn't focus more on the babysitting part. They usually do, but they didn't this episode. And I thought that was that was an interesting twist. They don't usually do that, but I like that they did that because it's different for Sam and Kat to do that. They don't usually do that, but I really like that. So basically, it starts off with um, Kat babysitting uh, this boy butler, and his mom wants him to do his homework, but his homework is not really his homework because... All his homework is is him basically texting things, basically, and he's texting um things as she says them. And um, what she finds out is that his mother is that he's in this uh, texting competition and he's won it for two years. And that's basically he uh, he wants to basically you know his mother wants him to compete in this, basically. So then when Sam comes, she immediately well first she has this kid who was saying that he was Butler, but that was funny. I thought that was really funny. Um, but basically, then Sam, when Sam hears about this, she wants to do it immediately. She's all, she's very interested. We see that she's a very fast typer. And um, then Butler's mom comes over, basically. And Butler's mom, though, she's not really the nicest of people you could ever meet. She's very uh, rude, and she really does not want anybody else to win but Butler. And she basically, she only wants the, um, to meet the vice president because since they won for two consecutive years, they get to meet the vice president if they win. So she just wants to meet the vice president. We can see though that she's really not into this. Sam really does want to do this, so she's really confident about it. And Kat basically helps her with this. And, um, then we get to the competition. And basically when the competition starts, we see that, um, that Sam, has been texting um, all this stuff, and she wins. Basically, she wins the first round. Then the second round comes, and this is when the episode starts getting very unpredictable. And definitely the best part of the episode was after this scene, basically. Um, Butler's mom glues Sam's hand to Kat's foot, basically, so she can't text. But then, when it's, oh, when it's the second round, Sam comes out, and lo and, lo and behold... She's okay. She got out of it. She can text, and she can text with one hand, basically. So she ends up texting with one hand, and um, here's the best part. Butler forfeits the competition because he's not into this. Once he finds out his mom, his mother did this, he's very upset about this, and um, he forfeits the competition, and Sam wins. And here's the best part, though. This was hilarious. The whole episode, Kat wanted to do this texting competition because it was this speedboat, basically, that they said they'd win. When they get the speedboat, it's this little toy uh, remote control speedboat that none of them will be able to fit in. And so they're like, what are we supposed to do with this? And then the end of the episode is them um, putting around the speedboat. But uh, Butler ends up winning uh, a new bike. And he takes off and his mom. He's like, bye-bye. Freedom! And that was hilarious when he's just like, freedom! Because his mother's gone, basically. And um, that that was just hilarious. Um, so that was great. And uh, so then he ends up leaving without his, uh, without his mother. And then to the ending, we see Sam and Cap playing with the boat. And then we see a call from the vice president. Cap says, it's the vice president. And Cap's like, ignore it. I mean, no, Cap says, it's the vice president. Sam basically says, ignore it. And that's how it ended for their plot. So their plot was very, very funny. Loved the main plot. It was very funny, and I really did enjoy the main plot. I thought it was very funny. Then we have this whole thing with Dice. Now, 
I will admit that this did get a little annoying, but it still was very funny just because the whole episode really was great. So that's why it was so great. But basically, we see that, um, we see that Dice basically had this friend back in second grade who was always very annoying. Um, and there's, and he's not friends with him anymore. And he tells, uh, Sam and Kat when he sees him at the texting competition, and he basically, whoa, sorry, my, uh, the thing I'm holding is on fell, so, sorry. <laughs> but he basically tells them, that um, there was this kid he used to be friends with, but now he's not friends with him anymore because um, he was very annoying. And he ate um, raw eggs. That's all he ate. He only eats raw eggs, and that's all he talks about with him. He never really wants to talk to him. And that's just creepy, honestly. When a kid just eats raw eggs, that's, that's just disgusting and creepy in so many ways. It's weird. Um, but basically... Uh, Sam gets his attention, so now he's talking to Dice, but every time Dice does something, he copies him, basically, and that's just how this kid works, basically. And it really is annoying, it really did get annoying after a while, but it was funny, but what was going on was funny, so I can, you know, I can stand it because it was funny. You know, if it wasn't really funny, it would have gotten annoying, but it was funny, because Dice basically had had it with this kid, so then he basically stops him by saying how, um, you know what happens when you eat raw eggs, um, and how they give him infections, and that basically stops this kid, he, that's it for this kid, you know, him telling him that, that's, that's where this kid draws the line, so, that was really great, and it really was a really funny episode, definitely one of the best episodes of Sam and Cat so far, so let me know what you guys saw of the episode, um, did you like the kid Butler? I mean, I really like the kid. I thought it would be, it'll be interesting to see him. Looks like um, next week they will be um, babysitting Dilbin, which should be interesting. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. No, not next week. That's one of the following episodes. Next week we're going to have the episode where one of the kids tells them that they're the best babysitter ever. Well, which one was he referring to? That should be funny. Really, really love the episode. Very, very funny. Did not watch The Haunting, The Haunted Hathaways yet. Um, I'll watch it after this, and then I will review it for you tomorrow. That's it for my review. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next video. And again, I know these are not the best videos. My computer is supposed to be fixed by Thursday. Could even be Wednesday. So do not worry. These videos will not be like this forever. So I will see you guys next video. Okay, bye.